Now, let's review what we've gone over, where our geometry came from, the man that we get it all from that we're going to study about is Euclid. Euclid was a Greek mathematician back in 300, around 300 BC, okay? Uh, he wrote a book called Euclid's Elements, and in it he described all kinds of math rules, axioms, assumptions, postulates, and in those he also described what we considered to be the definition of Euclidean geometry, five postulates. First postulate was we can draw a line from any point to any other point. Definition of a line, straight line, two points to find a line. The second postulate was we can extend that line by simply continuing to draw a straight line as far as we want in either direction, both directions. Okay, the third postulate was we can define and describe a circle by identifying a center and a distance we call the radius, and that allows us to draw a circle. The fourth one very simply said all right angles are equal to each other. And then the big one and last one that had lots of challenges was called the parallel postulate, basically stating in Euclidean geometry, straight lines that are intersected by a third line, and that third line forms right angles with those other first two lines. Those two lines are parallel and never touch, but they're straight. From that, several people took exception and said, wait a minute, we see space a little differently. One of those that came out was called elliptic. In other words, all lines bend and they come together geometry. Another one's called hyperbolic. There's several multitudes of geometric systems. Those are two of the most um, well-known that challenge. Those challenges were not serious until the 19th century. And those challenges revolve around Euclid's fifth postulate called the parallel postulate. Now, Euclidean geometry is based upon and the basic building blocks are Undefined terms at the bottom. That's why I put it down here. Undefined terms. Then, based upon those undefined terms, we can begin to build definitions. Okay? Words, concepts we want to use. From the undefined terms and definitions, we can make statements or postulates. They are assumptions or statements that are accepted as true, do not require proof. We don't have to prove them. They're accepted as true. Then we can begin to build theorems. Theorems are statements that require proof. How do you prove them? You have to say where they came from. They came from undefined terms. These are accepted. Definitions and postulates or other theorems that have already been proven. And there are also corollaries. Corollaries are simple additions to theorems, reasonable extensions of a theorem that are along the same lines of that theorem, just an add-on phrase, reasonable extension of that, and corollaries also have to be proven and can be proven using all these. Okay, These are the building blocks we're going to use in order to build our geometric system and to study geometry this year. Okay, Use this lecture or whatever to fill in your vocabulary, make your vocabulary as well as uh, fill in the blanks that you've got on your sheet of paper there. And um, have any questions, please let me know. We will discuss this in class.